What is going on fellas and welcome to team 28 of our 126 NCAA 14 rebuild. Today, as elected by the people in the stream, we have Texas Tech. Every time we have a Big 12 team, it does not work out for us in the slightest, mate. I can't exaggerate how poorly we perform in the Big 12. Now, if you want to catch these live, make sure you check the top link in the description. We do these pretty much every day at 6 p.m. Central Time over on Twitch. Make sure you come and follow me over here. If you want to have your say in what team we do next, all good things like that. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Four-star defensive tackle taking that straight away. I don't even know what the team looks like this early on. We'll figure it out as time goes on. We'll take a fullback. He's a receiving fullback as well. See, this is the thing. Today, we're going to be trying out something different, right? On defense, normally we run a 4-3 multiple. Today, we're going to be running a 3-4 multiple. Bo Steffens. Looks like a really solid player right there. Five-star wide receiver, third on his list. Because we are that four-star advantage to start out, I'm not really trying to mess around with too many three-stars or like 61 overalls, etc. Russell Martindale, the quarterback, looking like a beast. Also got Bobby Walker there. Punter and a kicker. Can one person be over a 60 overall? Just one. There we go, Bo Steffens. Quarterback looks good. Bobby Walker, solid. Okay, we got a freshman quarterback, freshman running back. We got a good freshman wide receiver. We're not going to be redshirting any of these guys, keep in mind. Not yet, at least. So we essentially need bloody everything. All right. All right, let's take Bo Steffens for sure. Quarterback, even though we have one, that's one of the very few positions that we don't need, as we do with kickers and punters. Just add 100 onto them at a scholarship. Jeremy Stevenson. We got a Another strong safety down here. I want this guy. Take Barry Smith. Gotta take Tim Collier. All right, this is our yellow lock cheese to the fullest extent. Bo Stefferson in the bag. Punter and kicker in the bag. Cornerback in the bag. You're in the bag. Five-star tight end, Bernard Smith. That'd be a pretty good pick up. Yikes, this is a tough class. Timothy Johnson looks like a beast. All right, he's a 78. That's not bad there. Punter, kicker in the bag still. Let's go. As we pick up Jeremy Stevenson, 78 overall cornerback. And Bobby Walker is a 74 strong safety. So that's all right. We got two of our secondary members of the future right there. Bo Stevenson in the bag. Everybody's still in the bag. We're gonna pick up another strong safety. Wow, this first class is gonna be something. And we already got those two. Wide receiver, another tight end. I guess we'll take another tight end. All right, let's take good old Reggie Lumpkin here. And Sean Knoll as well. All right, we are ranked 21. Uh, we do have OU though, so this is a guaranteed loss. And then we get into our hard part of the schedule. Oklahoma State, Baylor. We only lost by three points to OU. Rashawn Adams, 79 receiver. We get Kyle Young, the center. Another cornerback as well. Strong safety, running back. So that's our entire secondary. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Julian Thomas looks all right. I'm only trying to look for these uh, four stars, but this is a very, very good class. Very good class. To start off, you won. All right, we got our targets win per year in U1. Eight wins, five losses. We got to do better than that, though. It's going to be tough in the Big 12. All right, we are... No, we're not going to be losing this guy. We lose a lot of solid pieces, so we're going backwards. We're not going anywhere fast. Oh my goodness. Look at this transfer request. Alston Orgy, Bobby Brown the third, and Bruce Jordan Swilly. Bro, these guys are all machines, though. That's crazy. I've never seen anything that good before. They must know what's up. There's a lot of people here I really want to get. The class is amazing, though. I want to try and get this tight end. All right, we pick up Bernard Smith. We don't get the wide receiver. He's going to go to our conference rival. At least we get Josh Hudson, though. Sign a top five class. We recruit the fifth best class. Two five stars, eight four stars, and so on and so forth. Right up there, mate. We don't need to get the best class. We just need to recruit a better class than the Big 12. All right, nobody that is interested in the school I want, apart from this one middle linebacker. All right, another middle linebacker. We run a 3-4, so that might be handy. Another middle linebacker. Lucky we can actually take Jukos. We don't need a free safety, but hopefully he can go to cornerback. I'll take this tackle. All right, we'll take a center and a tackle. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Robert Jean is an 81, though. Is this frozen? Are you serious? We've been sitting here the whole time, and I haven't been simulating. That's my bad. All right, jumping into season two, we're officially up to a B+. Plus. So we went up even though we lost players. Not bad. Not good enough for the Big 12, but not bad. Taking this tackle. Travis Brown. Take that. Shit, I might even go all offensive line. Oh, come on. We're not leading for any of them? You're joking, mate. Jabari Coleman. I'll pick that up. Another cornerback. I'll take that. Daniel Wilson. You're getting a scholarship. That's kind of unfortunate. The only person we pick up is William Scott. At least we got a linebacker. Two really good quarterbacks. Three really good quarterbacks. I'll take anything. I'm desperate. Man, nobody is interested in joining. Danny Reed is. Only the cornerbacks want to join. Jamie Smith. 
All right, my guy, calm down. You're on the board, my guy. All right, we got Riley Reed's brother, Daniel Wilson. We're looking decent, man. We got some more cornerbacks. We're all right. All right, we're three and six right now. Like, I couldn't imagine us being in a worse spot. Uh, we're in season two right now. We just beat Texas. You see that? 38 to seven, we destroyed him. Let's go. All right, not bad. Quarterback, right end, left end. Excellent. All right, we didn't even get a bowl game. That's how much we suck. All right, this guy wants to transfer. He's homesick, but you know what? He's trash, so it doesn't matter. All right, we don't need this quarterback. I'll drop five on him, but I really want this Jamie Smith guy. In fact, I'll go 12 in Jamie Smith, and the other guy can get a little something-something, too. All right, we pick up the center and two quarterbacks. Awesome. All right, we got the 36 best class this year. No five stars, but a couple four stars. TJ Vasha, nice guard there, nice quarterback. Damn, Alan Bowman's actually going to be 99 overall. Let's go. We're going to lose a lot of players, but we are losing a shit ton of players. But so far, the team looks really good. I'm really surprised. What do we even need? I'll take this guy. I'll take a middle linebacker. Oh, four-star defensive end. Don't mind if I do. Nice, cornerback. We need a running back, like no tomorrow. So let's go get that out the way. They're all trash. All right, let's take these guys right here. Oh, man, the fullback. Can we get somebody? There we go, Mark Griffin. Giving us a big bounce back. Can we please get Jay Hall? 96 speed, 97 excel. 89 Duke. Imagine if we had him on Charleston. All right, Texas Tech is now B plus, A plus, and B plus. So in three years, we've turned them into quite the powerhouse. 97 overall offense. Wish the defense was a little bit better, but can we please get Jake Hall though? Or Steven Mann? Get some more cornerbacks. Poor Carroll. Yeah, Jake Hall is not coming to the school. Thank you for the jinx, whoever that was. I'm going to keep after these cornerbacks. I'm not giving up that easy. All right, we signed two people. Left outside linebacker or something. We're just looking for a couple cornerbacks and a running back. So we're in a good spot. Okay, we're going to get that running back. Uh, I'm just going to go after him anyway. Screw it. Oh, my goodness. I've got us playing Nebraska. What? All right, so we got Nebraska. Where are we at? I kind of forgot. Okay, they're much better than us. But our offense is really, really baller. So we should win this game, right? 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 Check it out. Oh, quarterback's trying to declare. Not only are you not going, but you're going to get redshirted, my guy. TJ Vasher, heading to the draft, projected first rounder. Also have Jack Anderson going to be leaving the squad. Well, at least we kept our quarterback. That's the important thing. Two transfer requests. Both of them look garbage. I'm not taking either one. All right, let's see if we can take Johnson as well. Put 6K into him. Look at that. We pick up Mike McCarty, who turns out to be a quarterback, which is a shame. Take Johnson. He's a cornerback. That's all I wanted. Let's check this out. 32nd best class. Look at that offense and defense, but we got to do something about that. No five stars, but five four stars. Hey, that's not bad, man. Look how this team's turning out. We're going to be losing Jordan Swilly, but we're going to maintain our quarterback. We'll have him. Have him. The team will be okay. They're not going to be amazing, but they're definitely good enough to win the national championship. I'll tell you that much. This is season four, so we've got one more year of recruiting, but I don't know what we're going to do. We don't need anything. So that means that season four is going to be a simulation season, so we can go all out for season five everything is set to on the computer is free to recruit however they want all right let's jump into it let's go texas tech oh my goodness check this out right we went from an a plus offense to a b plus and our defense went from a b minus to an a minus but keep in mind that we redshirted our 99 quarterback so when he's back next year we'll be beastly but yeah we're kind of going like backwards here you know what i mean that was crazy Oh, we only barely beat the Snappy Turtles. We need a new NCAA game? Yeah, I know. You're not wrong, man. We definitely do. We lost. This team really does suck when it wants to, eh? Yo, we beat Oklahoma. All right. Like, imagine losing all these games. Kansas nearly losing to the Snappy Turtles. And then you beat Oklahoma on the road? What? Wow, the computer did a really good job. I mean, sorry. No, they didn't. They signed a lot of trash. But this Jesse Robinson guy looks like a beast. 81 overall. Alrighty. We barely cracked a 6-6. Six and six, So, wow. 6-7. and seven. This Raiders team is not doing too flash hot. Alright, checking out players leaving. Please don't be anybody. Okay, nice. Okay, we did lose... Jordan Swilly though. 98 overall left outside linebacker. Oh, that's a big loss right there, boys. That hit me right in the heart right there. Transfer requests don't matter. Recruiting doesn't matter. All we need to do is position changes. All right, quarterback looks good. Running back looks decent. Not great though. Wide receivers look solid. Tight end looks solid. The O-line is not that good. At least our right end will be good though. All right, training results look pretty good. We got a couple of 90s there. A lot of 90s actually. And we got a lot of high 80s. 
Damn, led by the quarterback as well. That's what's up. Two good wide receivers. Look at this guy's speed, but 96 XL, but 78 speed. I guess he is 6'5", but wow, okay. So in year five, Texas Tech, A plus overall, A plus offense, and A defense. So we are right up there with the best teams. 97 overall, 99 offense, 95 defense. This team is good enough to go to a natty. In the Big 12, probably not going to happen. So a quarterback, Alan Bowman, 99 overall. He has been 99 for a long time. His speed and acceleration are garbage, but comes in with 99 awareness, 92 throw power, and 99 throw accuracy. So he should be able to get it done. Running back, we have Ali Lester and Tazorn. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. But uh, we have Henry and we have Ali Lester. Fullbacks are 73, wide receivers are 92, 91, 90, 89, and 87. So very, very solid there. Tight ends are 92, very, very solid. Offensive line leaves like a lot to be desired, but they're all right. You know, it's not the worst thing. 85 at end, 98 at the other end. So he's going to be a monster. 86 at DT, 82 at outside linebacker, 90 at middle linebacker, 81 at right. Cornerbacks are 99, 91, and 88. Free safety is an 88, and strong safety is a 90. So we are ready to ball out. We got the Bobby brothers at safety as well. Can the Bobby brothers do something this year? Fingers crossed because we're going to be playing the last game and I want a natty. Will the Big 12 screw us over? Let's see. All right, we're on an air raid. Let's see how we do. First time trying air raid and it's going to end with we beat WV last year. Wow, 51 to 38 dub against West Virginia. Okay, okay. Imagine if we don't even get a bowl game. I'm genuinely scared we might not even get a bowl game. Where do you reckon we'll be ranked? Do you reckon we will be ranked? We've only lost one game, right? Rank 19. I'll take it. All right, one and six. ISU, if we lose to these guys, then that's some BS. So I'm really curious, right? I stopped the simulation on Oklahoma because I need to check this out. I need to look a little bit deeper into this right now. All right, so let's check this out. How are they the better team? Just explain to me how they're the better team. How are they ranked 12th? on a seven and two record. How do we have the same offense and defense, but they're better? Huh? Logic? Let's go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're ranked 12th right now. Two games left in the season. We come fresh off our of Oklahoma victory. And we are ranked all the way down in 12th. The disrespect. We're nine and one and we're behind nine and two teams? That we're better than? You're 95, we're 97. Get out of here. We need a lot of RNG to go our way. Oh, let's go. I'm going to toilet. Rank 10. And we got Texas today. Whoever wins this game right here is also the Big 12 champion. Right here is the Big 12 championship, man. We might not have a, a conference championship, but this game is it right here. And we win 63 to 56. Big 12 champions. That's a big dub. All right, we are Big 10, be sorry, Big 12 champions big 10 would have been taken by michigan state that's my bad all right so we're currently ranked eighth we're the big 12 champion if we had won that game against tcu then more than likely we'd be in a natty right now but because we lost to tcu where are we gonna end up we might not be in the natty but we're big 12 champions and you know what i've never done well in the big 12 before ever so this is an accomplishment in its own You'll rise to three. Nah, we stayed an eight. Wow, the disrespect. All right, so looking at the final game, we are 11 and one and ranked eighth. So I need to go check this out because this is some BS right here. You've got Ohio in the natty. Like, hello? Yeah, I was got a guaranteed national championship. Wow, good job, boys. 83 overall in the natty. Can't wait to see how you guys do. Am I salty? A little bit. All right, so Alan Bowman finishes with 52 touchdowns and two picks. That is the best quarterback performance we've seen also picking up 4,000 yards that is incredible on the rushing end Ali Lester 977 of 14 touchdowns Myla Royals 1500 yards and 20 touchdowns on the season my goodness defense nothing crazy our defense was the weak part of the team and it shows as 15 is our largest the TFL let's jump into this game fellas we'll simulate a bit we'll play a bit as well what what jerseys are we rocking because you know these guys got nice jerseys the music portion of the stream is over Elgato go get it Elgato go all right boys we're in the fiesta bowl oh no way no way don't do it to him Smith look at the moves in the national championship baby sorry this isn't the natty this is the fiesta bowl <laughs> I thought it was the natty for a second there 
Oh, nice. He actually just went straight to the end zone and caught that. Wow, they got a field goal out of that. The offense is doing some weird things out there, man. Oh, right in the corner. What an absolute dot. Rashawn Adams killing it out there. Really? They scored? Yikes. Let's go! He caught it again! Dude, they cannot stop this guy. Like, all you gotta do is throw it up to this one receiver, and he, he keeps burning them. So, it wasn't a national championship, but we do finish 12-1 and as Big 12 champions as well. That was definitely play of the game. The very first play, going to the, the bloody house like that? That was crazy, man. Uh, let's check this out real, real quick, like, we only lost one game. We have Alan Bowman on Sim through two intercept. Well, I threw one of those interceptions, but I want to check out that receiver. How did he do? Wow! Rashawn Adams, 224 yards, three touchdowns, bro. That's all you need to see right there. He really just balled the hell out. That's crazy. Yeah, that wasn't a bad game at all. We go 12-1. and one. I mean, I would call it a success. As I said, we won the Big 12 championship. I've never done that before. That's a success. 200 24 yards for the receiver balled out let's go but that being said fellas if you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp i hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out peace